Judges are doing their last minute checking. All right, we got the thumbs up. Let's hear it for these two teams. I also say my my not certain we should be concerned yet. Aspects should be a little high. You know, so I heard some concern over here from Dead Robots. Oh, there we go. Lego didn't start. Oh, I am. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, did it? But it actually moved though. It's too bad. We didn't do the right run of dress code, you know, right after we got stuck in the corner. We've been able to oh, wait, bounce back from that. Yes. Oh. Make some adjustments. Oh, it was. Oh. 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 Was it working fine then? Oh. So we got that transport container in the launch area. Don't worry about it. All of those items in that transport container will score as if they're in the launch area. When they're calibrated, they're you know, you know that. Yeah, I'll get this okay, because it's not all this. They would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it probably would have just gotten in the way. Oh. Well, maybe you could have jammed their robot. You got this, Katrina. <laughs> so dead robots, robots bringing over the final cap or booster to get the nose capsule. <laughs> Again, that nose cap capsule, in order to double the points, has to be on the topmost booster section or at the top of the launch pole. They have it doing both. So we have a very good score here with Mount Vernon with 215, Dead Robot Society with 480 for that round. So Dead Robots remains undefeated with the double one 